Yo, 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 this is Mr. O. Yo, 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 this is Mr. O. And today I'm just going to give you a review uh, about key features of a graph of a function, okay? So again, for example, uh, we have here, let's say, uh, a parabola. Let's stop right there, it goes like this. For us to know the domain of this function, of this graph, domain you look at from left to right. Domain look only at the x-axis. That's the horizontal line there. This graph here, this arrowhead here, is going to the left. I know it looks like it's going up, but it's going to the left. And if it keeps going to the left, because domain is x-axis, if it keeps going to the left, the very the farthest number on the left is a negative infinity. And you can say negative infinity, but it really never stops. When you go to the far right here, this keeps going to the right, that's going to the positive infinity. Because on the left side are the negative values of x, the right side are the positive value. So the domain here are all real numbers, or we write from negative infinity to positive infinity. Take note, since we, the, the infinity never stopped, we never use bracket. So this is wrong. A negative infinity to positive infinity bracket is wrong. That's the wrong way. The right way is to use parentheses, okay? That's the right way. We never use bracket with an infinity. With a range, it's the y-axis. We look at the y value from the bottom to top. What's the lowest point of our parabola? The lowest point of our parabola is right here, which is negative 4. Negative 4 up to, there's a graph going up there. Remember, this arrowhead means going up. So from negative 4 going up. So the range there is from negative 4, including negative 4, to the infinity. Okay, you cannot write here negative four to infinity. This is wrong. Why is this wrong? Because negative four is close here. If this was open, when say open, there's a big hole in here, then the parenthesis negative four will work open parenthesis. But since it's close, <clears throat> it's going to be a bracket. Okay. Uh, why is it also not infinity to negative uh, negative four bracket parentheses? First, the left number should always be smaller. And the smaller number is negative four compared to infinity because it's going to positive infinity. Okay, so this is wrong. The right one is from negative four to infinity. Okay, next, let's study the uh, increasing and decreasing. There are two parts of the graph here. Okay, let me erase this one here. Two parts of the graph. The increasing is the changes that increase the rising. This is the increasing portion. And the decreasing portion is right, this one here. This is the decreasing, okay? So it's increasing at where? You always look at the x-axis when you're reading intervals. Okay, so it's increasing when you are right here from this section here up to infinitely going to the side. So it's from, what is the x value on this point here? It's zero to the right side. Everything on the right side <clears throat> of zero is increasing. So the increasing here is from zero to infinity. And we always use parentheses here. We never use bracket on this kind of problem. And for the decreasing, decreasing interval, everything on the left side to the zero because it stopped increasing on this level. So it's going to be from negative infinity to zero. Understood? <clears throat> Good. <clears throat> Next, it's going to be, uh, let's copy it again. It's a parabola that goes across there. Oh, my bad, it's wrong. Cross this negative four, touch and go. Okay. <clears throat> now let's find the positive interval. The positive interval means say you look at the x axis again. X axis is this brown one line here. Everything above 
<clears throat> the, the brown line or x-axis are the positive interval. So I can say everything in blue and everything here in blue that keeps going to the left, keeps going to the right, are my positive interval. So in this case here, since we only look at the x-axis, this is coming from left side because there's an arrowhead there. This is going to the left. So everything from the negative infinity, because the left side of the graph is the negative infinity, up to, what is this number here? Negative 5. Union with, because there's another positive interval here, starting from 3 to the right side to infinity. Okay? And the negative interval are the green one here, the one below, no, that's not green, below the x-axis here. That is from the negative interval or from negative 5 up to 3. Okay? Very simple, right? <clears throat> Next, let's find the uh, x-intercept or the zeros or the solution. Where does the graph cross the x-axis? It's at this point at that point. So that's going to be negative 5, 0 and 3, comma 0. Do we have y-intercept? Yes. What's our y-intercept? This point here, it's 0, comma, negative 4. Okay? Uh, what else do we need here? We need to find the relative minimum. This point here is our minimum. Our minimum value is 0, comma, negative 4. We don't have a maximum. A maximum is kind of like uphill, so there's no relative maximum okay and that's a short video for understanding the key features of graph of a function and as always kaboom